Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to rerun the failed cases in PyTest. So it's pretty much important to rerun the failed cases in the automation. That's because there can be an intermittent failures which gets passed at some times and which may get failed at some times. The failure reasons might be due to page loading problems or element loading problems or it can be due to data issues at that at that point of time. So these cases, uh, at least some of these cases get passed when you do the rerun. So it's, it saves you uh, a lot of time. So while uh, in terms of analysis, so you don't have to analyze these cases and uh, waste your time. So uh, apart from that, uh, uh, you should also work on these cases to avoid these intermittent failures uh, like uh, adding proper weights uh, to reduce the page loading problems uh, like implicit or explicit weight. I prefer explicit weight and also and also uh, using the clean data set which would also uh, reduce the failures due to the uh, data problems. And let's so let's get started. So on the screen you have, you can see there is a test class, which is a last failed test class failed. And we have two, or we have three tests in the class. And all that I'm doing in each test is assertion. We can see first test is directly accepted with true. And second is with false, also third is, is with false, which means that when we launch this using PyTest, we'll have only one case passed and we'll have two cases failed. So after that, we'll uh, do the rerun, which should only launch the two failed cases. Okay. So let's uh, run this first using the PyTest command. So you can see here two failed and one passed. So yeah, so we have two failed cases. So now to rerun only the failed test cases, we have to do I test iPhone iPhone LF. So this should this should launch only the failed cases. Okay, uh, that is the second one and third one. So let me give true for the second case this time and launch it. So now you can see one case failed, one case passed and one is deselected, which means that first case is deselected and uh, it's not included in the run. So only two cases got launched. Thank you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe for more videos.